Hey guys, Bjorn here again, Goosebumps number one OG fan, bringing you another video. Um, so, obviously I did the video what happened to the Kramer family at the end of Night of Living Dummy 2, but since I did that video, I've had a lot of people saying, yeah, but what happened to Lindy and Chris at the end of Night of the Living Dummy? Now, I, w I was going to do a what happened to, well, you know, um, Amanda and Josh whatnot at the end of Welcome to Dead House, so uh, I will do that one next, but because I've had so many people asking me about what happened to Lindy and Chris at the end of Night of the Living Dummy, I will do that one first, but the next one in this series of what happened to this family, etc, etc, um, I will do the uh, Welcome to Dead House book, uh, what happened to Josh and Amanda Benson at the end of yeah, Welcome to Dead House. But uh, for now, I will do, uh, yeah, what happened to Lindy and Chris at the end of Night of the Living Dummy when Slappy grabbed onto her arm and said, Hey slave, is that other guy gone? I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> Guys, obviously at the end of Night of the Living Dummy, as we all know, uh, when Mr. Wood got killed, um, Slappy's good-for-nothing brother, uh, basically, um, you know, the girls, they notice something in the window, and you know, Slappy's standing at the window, he's watching everything that's going on. Now, I had a lot of people um, telling me that in the comic book, they had it that uh, Mr. Wood's spirit, see, I have still haven't read Slappy's Tales of Horror, guys. I know I have to read it, it's on my bucket list for Goosebumps reading, but I still haven't gotten around to it. I actually have the uncorrected proof copy of it, I still haven't bought the actual, you know, full edited version, I have the uncorrected copy of it. So when they finally bring it out, which actually guys, here it is! <laughs> um, so yeah, I have the uncorrected proof copy. So this is the unedited version which they had at a Booktopia thingy. Uh, last year when they were promoting the Goosebump movie and whatnot, so uh, yeah, I have like the um, Yeah, the uncorrected version, you know, and obviously Slappy is there, but you can see like the like where is it? Uh, yeah, like the mist from when Mr. Wood died is like floating up into the sky into the air sort of thing and it like enters and you know Slappy standing at the window and he's checking out what's going on um, so like yeah, there's so many different theories. I mean I still believe he was alive when she read the magic words, and even, like, I don't know, you guys believe, if you believe he came alive when Mr. Wood Wally got killed, then okay, but I still believe he was alive the whole time, and he just didn't make himself known until the end, and I swear this is just a, a cop-out that they've added in now, like, in this, because, I mean, before this existed, we only had Night of the Living Dummy to work with, right? So, going by that, I believe that Slappy was just alive the whole time, but, um... Then again, I guess, according to the updated version of the in the comic, you know, graphic novel, it appears that when he did, when Mr. Wood did die, his spirit entered Slappy. So, okay, we'll go with that one for now, because it, it is in the book, this book here, so, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, talking about the ending, obviously, you know, Slappy is alive, and he grabs onto her art, Lindy's arm and says, Hey, slave, is that other guy gone? I thought he'd never leave. Wait, hang on a second. Was it Lindy? Oh, guys, yeah, it's not even in the comic book that he grabs onto her arm. It's He's just standing in the chair. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's slightly different, you know what I mean? It's not word for word like the book. Um, I can't even remember if it was Chris or Lindy, but he grabs onto one of the girl's arms and says, Hey, Slave, is that other guy gone? I thought he'd never leave. So clearly Slappy is alive. And then he is the main protagonist, you know, evil dummy throughout the rest of the series. Mr. Wood is only mentioned in Slappy's Nightmare, but yeah, he is the main, you know, evil dummy through the rest of the series, Slappy. Um, but yeah, I believe, because, you know, the second one starts off with, you know, Amy gets, like, her dad finds it, like, in a pawn shop and, you know, brings it home because Dennis keeps losing his head whatnot. So it makes me think, like, hang on. She reads the words and then Slappy comes alive, you know, at the beginning of Night Living Dummy 2. And it's kind of interesting because he's alive at the end of this one. So what happened? There's like a whole story that we don't know, like, 
there, it's almost like there could have been a whole like other book to this like Night of the Living Dummy 1.5 you know what I mean like there's like almost like there's a book that was meant to be written in the middle but there, it just doesn't you know what I mean because the second one starts off with Amy getting slappy reading the words and he comes alive but according to the end of the first book he is alive so what happened with Lindy and Chris and Slappy there is a whole other story there and I don't know it's almost like you know if, if any of you guys meet Aro Stein if you ever see him at a, a convention you should tell him is there any sort of filler in between Night of the Living Dummy 1 and 2 with Lindy and Chris and Slappy do they go through another whole charade of war and pranks and talk, you know, all that stuff, but with Slappy, and then they somehow destroy him, and then in I Loving Dummy 2, uh, Amy gets him and then brings him to life again, you know? So it, it is interesting. Like, it is a very interesting concept. I know why a lot of you guys, I can see why a lot of you guys were asking me to do this one, because it ended in such a way that it's almost like there was a whole other story to it, and there would have been like a whole other book to it, like, with Lindy, Chris, and Slappy, you know, like trying to defeat him now. So, yeah, guys, it, it's an interesting concept, you know, but when I look at it, I don't know. I, I think that there's just, yeah, a whole other story we don't know, and something went down between them, and they somehow managed to defeat Slappy, because obviously he's, you know, she reads the magic words at the beginning of Night Loving Dummy 2, Amy, and brings them back to life. So, I believe that something obviously went down between the three of them that you know they somehow defeated Slappy but obviously they didn't def defeat him in such a way that he gets fully destroyed by a steamroller like Mr. Wood did because Mr. Wood got killed man like he got hit by a steamroller and anything a steamroller comes in contact with just gets crushed and yeah so he was <laughs> um but yeah uh Slappy obviously died in such a way that he didn't really die like you know obviously in all the dummy books he never gets like fully destroyed he always gets killed in such a way that he can come back sort of thing like Chucky um, but yeah, something obviously had to have gone down between the three of them, but obviously we'll never know that. Um, if you ever meet R.L. Stone, any of you guys, because he, he's never come to Australia, you know what I mean? Well, I'm sure he did it back in the 90s when Goosebumps was huge, but, you know, he's never come back to Australia, you know, since, I don't even know when. <laughs> um, I've never met him, so I can never ask him this question, but this would be a great question to ask him. What happened between Lindy, Chris, and Slappy? I mean, you'll probably tell us to use our imagination, but can you give us some sort of insight about this? What happened? Because, you know, obviously he's he must get put to rest again somehow before the beginning of Night Living Dummy 2. So, how? Why? When? You know, can you write another book? <laughs> Could you do like a prequel to Night Living Dummy 2, but events that take place after Night Living Dummy? <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, we'll see see what happens guys. I don't know. Um, you know, it could go either way, but uh, Yeah, uh, I will get the uh, corrected Edition of this, but I haven't found it anywhere in Australia Like it's online to order and when I went to when I wanted to get it at a bookshop, you know QBD which I've mentioned in the um, Video best places to find goosebumps. She said oh, it's like completely sold out So we may have to go through our American supplier So they did have some in Australia, but they're sold out now. So this book is obviously very popular um and I've only got the uncorrected proof, and of course, because you know, collecting goosebumps, I'm going to buy things like this, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, um, I guess for now we just have to use our imagination. What happens? I guess in between, something obviously happened between the three of them, and they somehow managed to put Slappy back to rest somehow. Or maybe, nah, there's no way that could happen. I was just going to say maybe Slappy killed Lindy and Chris. <laughs> maybe he somehow beat them to death. I don't know, or turned them into his slaves, like he always wanted, you know. But, um, yeah guys, we'll never know until Arl Stein tells us, or maybe he writes a prequel book to the, the second one, and, you know, something happens after the first book. But. Yeah guys, um, that's all for this video, uh, yeah, gonna use your imagination for this one, sorry guys, I, I really have nothing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, tuning in, and I'll see you again soon.